Chicken is here. We are back today with another home gym video. In today's video, guys, the long awaited, highly anticipated for some of you review of the Pepin Dumbbell Fast Series. Let's get into it. So, for today's review, I'm going to go over, I've had a few weeks to use, the, to use these now. So, we're going to go over uh, how I feel about them and just kind of an overview of the dumbbells themselves. So, as someone that loves working out at home, I'm always on the lookout for equipment that's both high quality and convenient, and these dumbbells definitely fit the bill. Uh, we're going to talk about everything from the design construction of the dumbbells to their overall performance and help you guys decide whether or not it's the right uh, piece for your home gym. So let's start off by giving an overview of the design and construction of these, of these dumbbells. So the main, uh, the main point, the main feature of these is the ability to change the weights really quickly, simply like that, to go up to 120 pounds, maintaining a compact size and having the durability that is really unmatched um, in, in the industry, uh, unless you're looking at, you know, different dumbbells that kind of, th this, this dumbbell is special because it's everything all in one. A lot of the other competitors, you might get something that's a little bit faster to change. You might get something that's a little bit, um, you know, more budget friendly, but you're not gonna have everything that has the, the quick change ability, the durability, the size, uh, the footprint, and, um, the, the quality of the make. So as you can see, it's all steel construction. So it's all steel um, and it is a, a matte black powder coat that goes around the outside. Um, you can see it's also got a knurling. I believe it's a volcano knurling and the the knurling on it is, is really amazing. Excuse my bare feet there as I stand in my soaked gym still. Um, so it's really a beautiful quality knurling, something that you would, uh, I would compare it to like, um, like a power bar or, um, you know, a, a slightly more aggressive Rogue Ohio power bar, I would say, is how I would describe the knurling. The handles are a little bit thicker in diameter, and I find that that allows you to get a better grip on them, and they just really sit well. They sit nicely in the palm of your hands. Um, they're much smaller than uh, traditional dumbbells, which makes them easy to store and convenient to use in smaller spaces. That's the big benefit of having adjustable dumbbells in your home gym, right? Is you're not taking up an entire dedicated rack to use them. Um, so they also come with this, uh, this stand right here, which doubles as a storage unit for them. Now they do sell uh, a standalone, an actual stand. Uh, I'm using a, a plyo box to sit them on for right now, which is fine, but um, they, they do sell an actual stand um, if you guys do want to go that route, but the, um, the the holder that it comes in, it keeps them up off the ground, holds them in place, and uh, it, it works really well. And again, you can see all of the, um, any parts that would have steel on steel contact, you can see right here, this is all UHMW plastic. You can see the beautiful um, laser, uh, laser cut name. Um, they even give you, I believe if you order one of the first 500, they give you a custom nameplate with the with your order number on it. Um, not 100% sure about that, but um, yeah, just really high quality. And uh, you can see right in here too. Now, if you guys didn't see, I did a video on this right there. Um, that is going to allow um, a two and a half micro uh, uh, extra loading plate um, that you can get check out my other video on it I'll, I'll link it in the description too um but you can see it's it's lined with uhmw plastic as well just to prevent any uh, metal on metal contact now that we've gone over some of the features and the benefits let's talk about the construction so the build quality is excellent like i said they feel really sturdy in your hands the handles are made of a high quality metal that's both com comfortable to grip and durable enough to withstand regular use the dumbbells are also very easy to adjust. As I showed you, there's a dial on each end that you can just simply pop in and pop out depending on what you want to do. So it does take a little getting used to, but it, it's fairly straightforward and it's, it's very easy to use. So you can see right here, so they come with different plates. Again, I believe this is um, coated in UHMW wherever there is uh, steel metal on metal contact. But you can see that they pop right out and then these discs right here, they slide right into the holes of the next plate. So they simply just go down in there. Boom, they go like that. You wanna move it up to 30 pounds, you move this one down, you move this one up, and away you go. You're off to the, uh, you're off to the races. Boom, just like so. So very simple to use, very quick. Um, 
kind of satisfying to use too. I lo love that little pop sound. I mean, that is just, that is just beautiful. You know when Coop does his video, he's going to go wild over that, so I got to mention it first. Um, yeah, it's a really simple and intuitive design that doesn't require any extra tools or equipment to use. Obviously, you just get them right here like this. I mean, even if you want to just set them on the ground, um, you know, you're not going to have any issues there. And yeah, the, the big thing about these dumbbells compared to other stuff, because I know people are going to say in the comments, like, oh, chicken, they're not budget friendly or whatever. Yeah, they're not the most budget friendly. But they are the, the best all-encompassing dumbbell that is going to give you the ability to go up to 120 pounds. Now, I would say most, you know, average males that train for more than a year, you're going to need higher than 80-pound dumbbells. So, me, for example, I bench not a lot. I think my max is around 250, and I can do the 80s for 10, 12 reps fairly easily. It's not a lot of... I feel like an 80-pound dumbbell really limits you in your progress and what how you can push your dumbbell press um so for me that's why i was really waiting on these things and also just to say this is something that i've invested in myself they did not send me this for free i did get a little bit of a discount on them but i've been waiting for these to come out for a very long time so it's something i'm personally you know invested in and you know i put my money behind them too so um yeah so next, let's go over the uh, let's go over kind of the benefits of the of the weight range. So going back to the weight range, uh, the the fast series dumbbells come with a a weight range of twenty to one hundred twenty pounds per dumbbell, varying in sets of ten, unless you get the add on um, smaller um, add on plates uh, that's going to allow you to jump up in uh, increments of five instead. Um, so it's a pretty wide, wide range of weights that can accommodate a variety of different exercises, whether your goals are, you know, to be a power lifter, or if you're just into general fitness, this is really a good kind of, uh, all encompassing weight range. It's going to allow you to do a bunch of different things, whether you want to do incline presses with one twenties, or if you want to do, um, you know, goblet squats or deadlifts with them or whatever, um, or heavy rows, something like that. Um, it's really just good to have that extra weight to play with if um, if you need it So whether you're just starting out with strength training or your seasoned athlete these dumbbells can have a, um, a great weight range that can work for you So how do they actually perform? Um, so far since I've been using these dumbbells. I've noticed that um, I'm really impressed with the performance of them uh, They really feel smooth and controlled in your hands and the weights are evenly balanced uh, Which makes it easy to maintain proper form during your workouts um, the grips are also really comfortable, like I touched on before, those little bit of wider grips, it just really sits nicely in your hands, I find. Um, I honestly don't have uh, anything bad, really, to say. The only thing I will say is that it does take a little bit of getting used to, that, that quick change thing. Sometimes I second guess myself. That might be me, maybe I just have bad eyes, but sometimes I second guess myself. It's like, am I in between the 20 and 30 mark, or am I, you know, right on it? But it doesn't let you um, push the pin in unless you're actually at one of those weights. So you can't just weirdly pick it up halfway in between, you pick it up and it falls over, that doesn't happen. So, um, you know, I had to throw in something negative, so it seemed like an unbiased review, but that's honestly, you know, I paid a lot of money for these and um, I don't really have anything bad to say about them. They're, they're durable, they look awesome. They have uh, quality construction. Um, you know, like we said, it's got that wide weight range, so. There's, you know, I, I think it's the perfect dumbbell. I think it's the perfect adjustable dumbbell if you're gonna invest in something for your home gym. You know, we spend thousands of money, thousands of dollars, uh, thousands of monies on bars, on power racks. I think a dumbbell set is really, you know, it, it's right up there. It's gonna allow you to do, like the biggest problem with home gyms is the uh, inability to do a lot of accessory movements, right? You know, we miss the leg press, we miss the hack squat, we miss the chest machine thing. Um, Having a set of dumbbells like these allows you to do so many different things and it just gives you that sense of freedom um, You know if you don't want to bench press for example, you're like I've had this home gym for I don't know close to three years now what like 100 I would say like 95% of my upper body training has just been bench press and it's it's fine I love benching don't get me wrong, but it's nice to change it up a little bit be like okay today we're gonna use dumbbells or you know, I'm not just going to do bench and push-ups for lunch, which is kind of cool to be able to do chest flies for the first time in three years. Although you do get very sore, <laughs> I'll tell you that first workout back using them. Um, the funny thing is, this is kind of off topic, I guess, but um, I noticed my dumbbell uh, strength came back pretty well, 100% to where it is, where it was uh, when I was using them regularly before, after about two workouts. So if you haven't been using dumbbells for a while and you're kind of thinking like, oh, you know, 
it's going to take a while to get back in them. As long as you're benching, I don't mean, you know, using those muscles regularly, I don't think it really goes anywhere. So, um, kind of a side note, not really important, but, um, yeah, I, I, a couple of things to keep in mind too. Some people are going to say the drop test and obviously, you know, just like I have a, uh, cement foundation floor, right? So I'm not dropping my weights. I'm not dropping my weight plates. I'm certainly not dropping these dumbbells. I imagine I probably would crack if you threw them off a building. Um, but that's not what they're really designed for. If you if you really want to drop them, um, just put mats down and you'll probably be okay. I don't think that they're warranted for drops, and I don't think, um, yeah, I don't think it's a smart thing to do is to drop these dumbbells. Just like I wouldn't drop my you know steel weight plates uh, on the floor either. Um, they're also not completely silent when you're using them. There's a bit of a clanking noise when you're adjusting the uh, the weights around, and the, um. Yeah, it's not really loud enough to be a major distraction. Just, you know, trying to come at this from all angles here. Um, it, it is a little bit noisy to change them. It's not perfectly quiet. That being said, if you're not banging them around, if you focus for two seconds and pull them out, you know, normally, then you're not gonna have any issues. Um, so let's talk about the price. The price of these doubles. They're definitely not the cheapest option on the market, but I do think they're worth the investment if you're serious about your home workouts. The build quality is excellent, and they're really convenient and versatile uh, piece of um, equipment to have in your home gym. If you're somebody who likes to work out and at home and you want a set of dumbbells that you can grow with as you get stronger, I think the Pep and Fast Series adjustable dumbbells are the best choice, are the best choice. I think these are better than anything else out there right now. So, so those are my thoughts on the Pep and uh, Fast Series adjustable dumbbells overall. Really impressed with the design, really impressed with the construction and the performance of these dumbbells. Um, I think they're a great investment for anybody and they're a convenient space saving alternative to a traditional rack of dumbbells. 100% over and over again. So that's my thoughts guys. Uh, I've really been enjoying using them. If you guys want to stay up to date on how I feel about these, I'm sure I'll do a review on them again um, after we've had them for uh, a little bit longer. But uh, yeah, man, um, two thumbs up from the chicken for sure. Um, if you guys are interested, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Chicken out.